Hi there. You are welcome to today's episode of the Ask Lady Grey Show. Today is going to be very educative, so don't go anywhere after this break. We'll learn a lot. Welcome back to the Ask Lady Grace show. Today we are going to learn and understand a very important topic, emotional intelligence. What does it take to be an emotionally intelligent person? Helping us discuss the topic is a very important and special person, Pastor Emmanuel Kabna Nyama. Thank you so much for always accepting my invitation. And I, like I said, um, being an emotionally intelligent person is what we are going to try to understand, right? And I think that the, the benefits of being emotionally intelligent cannot be overemphasized. Because being an emotionally intelligent person will make you thrive in your work, it will make you have a beautiful relationship, it will make people like to have your company, okay? So I, I want us to try and understand who an emotionally intelligent person mm -hmm. is and what it takes to be emotionally intelligent so you can give us um, some of the qualities or what it takes or how can you say that okay grace or lady grace is an emotionally intelligent person what are some of the traits what are some of the characteristics what are some of the things the person does or exhibits to show that now nah, this person is emotionally intelligent hmm this is a i i think that the topic of emotional intelligence mm is a topic that we've not really spoken about yeah. for, especially for those who are in, in the faith. Um, Christians hardly talk about emotional mm. intelligence. I mean, of course, Anka um, Christo need emotional intelligence, they found home, you know, because we, Galatians 5 says that walk by the spirit yeah. and you will not gratify yeah. the desires of the flesh. You know, and we also do know, um, especially from the Christian point of view, that man is a spirit, man has a soul, and man lives in a body. And we do know that the soul is what encompasses our, you know, or the, the soul is the central thing that houses our emotions, our feelings, mm, you know, yeah, our yeah. intellect, our yeah. willpower, and what have you. So when we talk about emotions, we are basically limiting ourselves to the soul realm which we know that there is a higher realm which is the spirit realm right so yeah. practically the believer should be more concerned about walking by the spirit and not necessarily walking by your emotions right so then if that becomes a case then emotional mm. intelligence does not even become a topic that we yeah. really dwell yeah. more yeah. on yeah. that's true but that being said so far as we have emotions we must understand what this cognitive, you know, um, instrument or, um, you know, organ, or I, I don't know how to put it, but this cognitive instrument is like, and the behavior of it, you know, because when we look at the topic of emotional intelligence, we are basically talking about, you know, how somebody understands, how somebody relates to things, how somebody processes yeah. you know situations yeah. you know emotionally yeah. that's basically what we are talking okay. about you know okay. how do you handle information because mm. we are talking about knowledge right mm. so yeah. what you know how do you handle that or process mm. that emotionally yeah. 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 so when information comes to you and information comes to us in in different ways what we see what we hear what we feel you know all that when it comes when those when those information come to us, how do we actually handle that? How mm. do we process them? Yes. You know, emotionally. You know, mm. do we cry? Mm -hmm. Do we laugh? Do yeah. we get angry? Do we get happy? 
Do we get mad? You know, those are the things that emotional intelligence is about. Okay. You know, the one okay. who is able to process them well and reflect them in their actions is somebody who is seen to be an emotionally mm -hmm. intelligent, intelligent person. person. Okay. You know, so if two of us are confronted with the same situation, situation. Mm. and then I'm able to have a way at it that what will make you angry and what will make you speak angrily about stuff, mm. I don't do the same thing, yeah. you know. Uh, what will make you angry is not what makes me angry. Mm. You know, what makes you troubled is not what makes me troubled. What makes you frustrated doesn't really make me frustrated. Then between the two people, uh, we can say that one is emotionally intelligent and the other one is not. Even though sometimes uh, the situations determine how people actually react emotionally yeah. and how they care about them will determine the extent they can go. This kind of intelligence is not the same as academic intelligence, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or um, um, social intelligence or whatever intelligence that we have. This, this is not about the way we process just the things we, we read or how we understand them. Yeah. This is basically about how we react emotionally to things, yeah. right? And some people have mastered the act of dealing with them better yeah. than other people. Yeah. And I, I, don't know what, I don't know how to put this, that a lot of Christians actually fall victim to them. And not yeah. only Christians, um, far too many people actually fall victim yeah. to this. Even people who are really grown up you know, I'm talking about in terms of age mm -hmm. and people who are even matured in our, in our society are not able to process things emotionally well. Mm. They just cannot do it. They are not able to do it. Yeah. They just get jealous. They get angry. Mm. They get pissed. They mm -hmm. get envious mm. just like that just like about that, things yeah, that they shouldn't, they shouldn't be. So um, I think primarily that's what emotional mm. intelligence yeah. is yeah. about. Yeah. Okay, so you, you mentioned certain things, right, like jealousy, envy, and all that, right? Let's take a scenario where um, a lady, let me go to the relationship part, where someone is dating this guy who is so good and genuinely caring, genuinely loving, like he really does care about people, right? And, and this lady ends up in a relationship with him. Of course, I'm sure maybe also what she was receiving that side of him. That's one of the things that perhaps also attracted her to, 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 um, to him. But then now she's in a relationship with the person and, and this guy is still himself. He's really there for people. He's there. He's celebrating them. He's celebrating them. He's trying to, you know, be all, all like he was with you when he was not dating you, the lady. Now, are you saying that if this lady should question that or wants the guy for himself, for herself, sorry, are we saying that if the lady should complain about it, the lady will not be considered as, as an emotionally intelligent person? Because I, I, I don't see where the blind comes in. Okay. We'll okay. okay. I, I think I understand where you are coming from. And, um, I, you know, when it comes to emotional intelligence, um, I think we all need to understand that um, it is, it is about how you process information and how you respond to that. So how you, do you process information emotionally and how do you respond to them? Okay. Uh, a lady could actually not be happy about it and that's very fine because mm -hmm. she is human. In fact, there's no point in being okay with the very same thing that made you fall in love with him. Because okay. you're just going to be defensive and you, you're probably going to think, oh, the, the girls are going to fall for him because yes, that's the very yes, same thing yes. that you felt. So that's very normal. Okay. But when it comes to emotional intelligence, it's just about to what extent you deal with that information, right? Knowing that, well, this is who he is. If you're a lady that, because now you know that this is how the guy is, now you, you can't do anything. Like the first thing you have to do is to first check his phone, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, check his mm -hmm. conversation. If he mm -hmm. sleeps, you have to steal his phone or take his phone. Yeah. Or you always want to know who is, who is he chatting with, <laughs> yes. you know, what is he saying to other people? Yes. Then there is a problem. Mm. Then there is a problem. Okay. Uh, or you're a lady who just get mad and angry and furious about things and you are not able to handle that in your reaction to that. 
then there is a problem. It, it doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, I mean, for the fact that you don't want a guy to do that to other people or be like that with other people, does not necessarily mean that you are not emotionally matured. Okay. Now, that's not true. Okay. I don't think so. I okay. think that because you're human, you are likely to have that okay. kind of reaction. Okay. But where the limit is, is how you respond okay. to them emotionally. Do you just become insecure? Mm -hmm. Because if that makes you insecure, then there is a problem. Okay. And if it makes you insecure, what do you resp what, how is your response like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to it? Do you, do you talk about it calmly, like you want a result? Or you talk about it like you are mad, and, and that's it? And what if you talk about it calmly, but the person is still himself? Like I said, that's what emotional intelligence is about, <laughs> you know? The, the act of patience, the act of understanding, okay. the act of, of, um, of appreciation. And uh, those are key things when it comes to emotional intelligence. How patient are you with things? Okay. Are you impatient? Are you angry and furious? Are you the one who is almost every single time no, mad and, and angry? And sometimes I ask people like, when you behave like that, what is the result? Mm. Does it change the person? Okay. Is your goal that, that the person will change? Mm -hmm. if, if your goal is that the person will change, and that action of yours is not changing him, then why don't you find another action that will change him? Yeah. You know, that's the key thing here. Because if your goal is not that he will change, and that you just want to complain and nag about somebody who is like that, and he's been like that probably only God knows how long. And maybe that's how his upbringing was or that's how he grew up to see things, you know, just to show genuine care about people. Then what, what, is, what are you mad about? But this is the thing about, about that because sometimes in that process maybe you are seeing some signs, okay. right, okay. of infidelity, okay. either emotionally or, okay. you know, sexually, okay. you know. If you see those things, then yeah, maybe the way you handle yeah, it, yeah. there will be a cause for why you are angry and pissed. Yeah, because yeah. we yeah. all understand what love can make people do. Because yeah. love itself is an emotional response. Yeah, really. right? If that is not the case, and genuinely, you can see that this guy doesn't want to have anything to do with them sexually, or doesn't want to engage with them emotionally, you know, like have an emotional infidelity sort of, then you need to be able to understand who he is. And you have to be patient enough, you know, for him to be able to come around. Mm. Sometimes what you may not know is that the person has too much time on his hands. That is okay. how come he's, he's able, able to, to give to yeah. too many people like the mm -hmm. way you see it. Mm -hmm. A time will come where you see him busy at stuff okay. and you'll be shocked. The same person you thought will give everything to other people may not do it to that extent because he's so much engaged in other things. And people like that are people who give almost all their all to things that they mm. love. So that, that, that is not necessarily emotional intelligence. Okay. It's not a problem. It's, okay. not a, it's not an issue with emotional okay. intelligence. But then how you react, how you respond is what and emotional response, intelligence okay. is about. Okay. You know? So maybe I will just go ahead and say this. That when it comes to emotional in intelligence, first you must understand that it begins with an introduction of information. Okay. And that information can come through your senses. Either what you are seeing, what you are hearing, what you are reading, you know, just something. It's like you just being there and all of a sudden somebody says, maybe you lost somebody and that yeah. person is dear to you. And all of a sudden you, have, yeah. you are breaking down. Yeah, breaking down. Just an introduction yeah. of information, information. Mm. is what caused mm. that. So, if you want to be an emotionally intelligent person, you first have to be careful with how you receive information and how you process them. Okay. How quick are you to process information? Okay. Uh, do you verify first? Okay. Do you confirm first? Okay. How quick are you yeah. to, you know, to, to respond to emotions and mm. to information? Mm. A lot of people don't know how critical this is. Yeah. For instance, somebody comes to you and says, Oh, this person said this, and then all of a sudden you reacted. Yeah. That is a very, very mm. immature person when it comes to that person's emotion. Okay. The person is not emotionally intelligent. Okay. Because you, you, your way of responding, and sometimes it can even be like that for people who are in organizations yeah. or in businesses. And, yeah. and sometimes as a manager or as a, as a CEO or as a 
director or whatever, whatever you are, some people can come in or there will be an information yeah. that you may be, you know, you may chance on or you may see or you may hear or somebody can, can even say somebody said or did. Yeah. And if you don't react in a way that is calm, that you first verify, you confirm, and you are sure mm. that what you are hearing or that information is true, then be careful. So there's something they say, think before you speak. Okay. And when they say think before you speak, um, uh, think is actually an abbreviation okay. of, is it true? Is it helpful? Okay. Is it inspiring? Okay. Is it um, necessary? necessary? And is okay. it kind? Okay. Right? And okay. I also do think that at the receiving end, you also have to probably cross-check if whatever information you are receiving is number one, is true, uh, number two, is helpful, number three, inspiring. is inspiring, number mm. four, is necessary, and it is kind. kind. It is a principle that has guided my way okay. of life, and okay. I hardly will just respond to things. Yeah, if it's I'm not necessary, <laughs> I'm just going to ask you, how, yeah. how necessary is this, or yeah. how true is it, yeah. or how you know, kind is this, yeah. you know, do you even know what a person is going through? Mm. It's, it's a principle that I live by, whether yeah. I'm speaking or whether I am taking in an information. Mm -hmm. And the moment you are careful with mm. how you take in information, mm. it puts you into the second way. Mm. That is, apart from verifying or, you know, confirming, the second thing is response, no response or okay. reaction. Reaction, okay. Right, I think that how you react mm. to it is very important. Okay. You know, many people just react to, to things yeah. just like that. Yeah. In a relationship, a man can say something. And sometimes I always mm. say this. Like you, you're not going to have it the way you want it all the time. Yeah. You don't always think that somebody's going to say things that are kind. Mm. You don't always think somebody's going to say something that, about you that is true. Yeah. You, you can't, you know, it's mm. not true. Like, yeah. it's never going to happen. Yeah. There are times where people are going to say things about you that are not true. But then how you react is very important, mm, right? Mm. Uh, Jesus is a typical example. One day Jesus asked them that, what do people say I am? And then one says, well, well they said you were Elijah. Elijah. The other uh -huh. says, well, you are one of the prophets, you know. Mm. And after they said all of that, Peter says, he asked them that, what do you people think that I am? And, and Jesus says, uh, Peter says, uh, you are Christ, the son of God. And Jesus said, well, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. I, I personally think that Jesus walked with an identity that he knew that is only God who knew it. Yeah. Man didn't know. And, yeah. and because man didn't know, whatever man thought about him was just an opinion. Yes. So when Peter said that, he was like, oh, wait, how did you know it? Yeah. I, it's God who showed you. Or flesh is God who told you? Know if you. God did not tell you, there is no way you will yeah. know that about me. And, and I think that when you live with that mindset, it's mm. also going to help you. Yeah. That man is not ever, ever going to know the truth mm. about you. Yeah. They never know how you, what you go through. They never yeah. even know how you feel. They never know the challenges that you face every yeah. day. That's they true. never know the battle you have to fight. They never know. They don't even have to know. And you don't have to be bothered about whether they know or not. Mm -hmm. They don't have to know. What, whatever they say, whether it's kind, whether it's true, whether it's necessary, whether it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's inspiring, it's really not something that should bother you because mm -hmm. they don't know you. Mm -hmm. See? They don't know you. And because they don't know you, your response to them should always be in a way that you do not know me. Another example is Jesus on the cross. When <laughs> these guys just killed you, mm -hmm. they, they, they beat you up, they lied, they chose... Somebody like Barabbas, Barabbas over you. <laughs> and still you hanged on the cross. And then you say, Father, forgive Amen. them for they do not know what they do. Yes. So Jesus lived always at a defense place of life where he's always kind of defending people's ignorance yeah. about them. He, yeah. And of course, seriously, if they knew Jesus was the son of God, really, there's no way they would make they those would allegations. <laughs> so sometimes what I tell people this. Like people say things before. about you because they don't know you. Yes. People think the way they think about you because they don't know yes. you. And it's okay for people not to know you. Sure. They don't have to know you. Yeah. So far as God knows you, that's fine. If mm. people even said something which is right about you, just accept that God probably showed it to them. Yeah. Or God told them. Even if they knew that God told them or not, God really told them. And when you see life that way, even your beloved your reaction to them will be different. You always will be at the defense part yeah. where you think that, I, I, know, I know he doesn't know what he's saying. I know, I know he doesn't 
know what I'm going through. I know mm. he doesn't. And the moment you live your life like that, mm. it affects the way you respond mm. to that and, and the way you actually react to them. And then the last or the third thing that I will say is that when it comes to emotional intelligence, it's also about understanding. Mm. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's about understanding. I, I think many, many times that the challenge that we go through is we don't really try to understand. No, we are in, in a hurry to respond. Yeah. And because we are in a hurry to respond and to react, we actually don't try to understand. Sometimes the circumstances, you know, it's like taking, for example, um, I mean, that, that's so far-fetched, but seeing um, uh, maybe you are a man, or a, a woman and you are a married man, you came back from work or you, you, um, you came from wherever and you meet your spouse in bed with another person. Anything could have gone wrong. The person could have even been dragged. But seeing that, <laughs> the reaction, I mean, are you now going to, you know, so are you now saying that an emotionally intelligent person would now pause and say, come on, what is going on here? And then try to understand why. Why are you in bed with a person? What is happening? You know, seeing something so helpful because, I mean, when it comes to, that's another topic for the day. You know, somebody uh, cheating, how Christ sees marriage. So offering your body to another person, it's, it has its own meaning, right? So are you now going to, you know, so are you saying that if the person reacts on the spot, the person is not emo emotionally intelligent or the person who says, husband, don't worry, you let's go home. And now <laughs> tries to understand the situation. <laughs> I think, I think if, you, if you check the point I gave, that's why I said react or respond before I said the, th the third is... Uh, understand. Why, I mean, is because I could have said understand first because mm. I have known from life and these things I'm sharing with you are things that I'm speaking from my life, okay. really. I'm, I'm not speaking from it from a book or something. Mm. I'm just saying it for my life. It could be confirmed from books and other things like that, but these are things that I'm sharing practically from the way I live my life. And I think that sometimes we always do respond or react sometimes before, you know, but then if, like I said, the first thing is with verifying. If you verify it well, as in verifying does not mean you're now going to ask around, but you, you just want to pause a little bit, you okay. know, to take within yourself, yeah, could yeah. this be true? Mm. You know, because you know the person. If somebody yeah. came to you and said, somebody just killed somebody, ha, huh. mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not just going to get mad at it because I have to first be sure. And if you're in a relationship, like you just said, yeah. with somebody and you know the person, mm. sometimes there are things that are very hard to believe. Yeah. Right, so you are able to just verify. You are sometimes even just... You just confirm it's not true, even before yeah. you get in a way. And sometimes you, it happens that it wasn't really true, it wasn't or it was just true. half truth. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you, you get shocked, right? Yeah. But then, like mm -hmm. I said, so that's where you verify, and then you react or respond, mm -hmm. right, carefully. And then you try to understand. Okay. Why? Because sometimes things are going to just happen in a way that you need to relax a little bit to be able to process it right and 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 try to understand what is really going on right like like uh, the bible says that don't let the sun settle down yeah, on your, on anger. your anger mm. why because sometimes a person can be angry that could be the person's response but the person could sit back and go nah, okay. mm -hmm. nah i don't need to do this mm. i don't have to do this yeah. i don't I don't have to. And that is also what emotional intelligence is about. Okay. Your ability to be able to challenge the, the thought mm. that you are having about particular situations, about how you should react or how you should respond, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? The ability to be able to just challenge that in yourself. For instance, take a knife, take a knife, take a knife. Mm -hmm. That thought keeps coming because mm. you are mad, you are angry. Your ability to just relax and understand that that is not who you are yeah. and this is not what you are supposed to do okay. is what emotional intelligence wow. really is wow. about That's so true. people need to know that mm. sometimes it's like envy your friends are doing well they are achieving yeah. things or yeah. they're doing stuff with their life you have no idea what they're even doing you don't even know the challenges yeah. they go through yeah. but then the moment you see them and now in the era of social media you open your social media yeah. this person is saying save the day another mm. person says that i've done my phd and another person says that oh just got a job and another person you you've seen many things and then you are thinking ah oh, 
I don't have any of that. God, what is really happening in my yeah, life? Yeah. And then you are thinking, ah, you are such a waste. You know, there's nothing good about your life. Mm -hmm. And then you are a mess. And now you start thinking about all of those kind of things. What if you don't try to understand yeah. that the people that you may think that are having it all together yeah. are also having their own the challenges, the same yeah. way that there's something that you are also having in your life that they don't, don't have. have. Yeah. If you don't try to understand, then you realize that it's going to affect the way mm. you respond. Mm. Okay? Mm. So you, you always have to understand things because even though your response sometimes could be immediate, just make sure that what comes with your response is understanding. Okay. Probably okay. not what comes before. Sometimes mm. it's before, sometimes it's, it's after. after. Yeah. But make sure that what comes with the response is it's you really mm. understanding wow. what is really wow. going on. You heard somebody's cheating. You heard, or you saw a message, or you saw this, you saw that. Sometimes the first reaction is, could you really? Mm. Really, that's the truth. I mean, yeah, there's yeah, no way I'm going to be able to advise you that. Take your time and then start <laughs> trying to understand. I feel like it doesn't really happen. Sometimes the first thing that you're going to do is like, really? <laughs> oh my God. But it is in that uh, uh, that you're going to just try to understand. Yeah. This is not the end of the world. Mm. This is not all there is to life. Wow. What is really going on? Mm. What, what happened? If I do this, mm. what I what will happen if I don't do this? Right. So that that kind of thing is what emotional okay. intelligence okay. is about. So wow. I pr I personally think that if somebody can be able to one, uh, you know, check the way you process information, information. or okay. you receive information, how you take in information, information. Okay. if you can really really, you know, be careful, you know, to make sure that you verify, you confirm you analyze, and then you are careful with how you respond mm -hmm. or careful with how you react. And that you'll make sure that what you are reacting to or what you're responding to is backed by understanding, understanding of okay. the situation, okay. right? And understanding of what the consequences could be yeah. and understanding of what it is, then definitely the way you handle situations are going to be different. I'm just going to give this last example, especially for people who find themselves in, in a place of jealousy. And I think that really, when it comes to emotional intelligence, there's one of the things people really, really find it difficult to deal with. Yeah. For any other thing, people are able to process with time. Mm. But jealousy is things that I people can even be 60 and still be jealous about things. Yeah. Yeah. And, and because it's born from what is called flesh, Selfishness. That's why beginning I said, for the believer, you are encouraged by the Bible mm. or admonished by the Bible to walk according to the spirit that you do not gratify the yeah. desires of your flesh. But there are times where people are, are allow their flesh in so much that naturally because human beings love themselves. Mm. That's why Jesus says, love your God, love the Lord, your God, you know, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Mm -hmm. And then he comes in to say, and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Jesus knows that we already love ourselves. Everybody loves ourselves. There's this self in everyone. Yeah, uh, we just have this self, self, self stuff. But that self-awareness is very important. Mm. You, know, you know, you have to be aware of yourself as a person, okay. who you are okay. as an individual, okay. as a human being. And when you understand that, that you are first self, you are very careful with the way you handle things. Yes, Some true. people just don't realize that they mm -hmm. are self. And mostly everything that is going to spring from you is first going to come from self. Mm -hmm. It's always going to consider self. It's always going to think about you. It's mm -hmm. going to think about your children. It's going to think about the well-being of your family. It's always going to place That's you true. first. It's That's the same true. thing that we find ourselves in when it comes to corruption, when it comes to politics and other things. It's always going to spring from that self-identity. Yeah. right? True. And so that self-awareness is very crucial that, hey, I'm human, I'm human and yeah. there's this natural love for me. It is all me, 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 me. And your ability to grow from the love of you to the love of your neighbor and the love of God is really what maturity is about. 
Okay. Your ability to grow from the love of you. Mm. That is no more just about what you want for yourself, what you want for your children, what you want for you, 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 your family. You know, you want your children to, to have all of it, everything, every good thing, you know, and other people shouldn't. And so when you see other people having it and then you start feeling some way, will you grow from self? And that mm. is what Jesus came to save us mm. from, really, mm. to save us from ourself, mm. right? to the place where we now start thinking about other people, other people. and start thinking about wow. God. So can you think about your neighbor? Wow. Can you think about God? Wow. If your neighbor is succeeding, will you be happy for happy him? For You've person. always been happy for you mm. when you are succeeding, mm. but will you be happy for your neighbor? That is also another dimension of self, um, emotional Mission intelligence that I think a lot of people struggle wow. with. You know, wow. But wow. I will end here. Wow, wow. This has been so insightful. I promised you viewers that today we are going to learn a lot. And I bet that if you've been listening from the beginning till now, you've learned so much. And so we're able to grow out of ourselves. You know, we will not be able to get to the place of emotional intelligence. How are you verifying information? How are you understanding situations? How are you reacting to the situation? Let, our, let us all grow out of ourselves and be in emotional intelligence. There are so many benefits of emotional intelligence. You become a peaceful human being. You don't, you don't worry about unnecessary things. You are always calm. You are always happy. People want to be with you. Be able to have you know, this positive vibe and energy around you. So let us all yearn to get to a level where people can really say, indeed, this one is emotionally intelligent. Thank you for making time to watch the Ask Lady Grey show. You can send your questions, your comments on this page, or you can send me anything, anything you want us to address ask on askladygrace at gmail.com. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, share with your loved ones. Until next time, it's bye for now.